You're looking at an InnoVice InfoSwim model. It's part of the Naperville model, and we're going to discuss how transects are modeled inside of InfoSwim and um, H2O Map Swim. Okay, so we click on our link here. You can see it's irregular, which basically makes it a heck RAS channel. Click on Transect, and you enter uh, three roughnesses, one for the left, right bank, center, uh, center channel, and then the bank station that determines whether it's a left, right, or center. Then you can also have a meander and an elevation offset. Usually elevation offset is zero. Now you enter the station elevation data. You can graph it. The uh, red lines are the um, left and right um, bank stations. Anytime you have properties here, you can click on the properties and change the color of the um, of it by clicking on the curve and changing the color or the uh, other characteristics of the, of the curve. If I click on layer, I can make this an area graph. Uh, so you can see it in area. Okay. All right, so now we have it in green and, and the red. All right, so that's the um, irregular channel. All the transects that are in the model are under operation under transects. So here you can see the different transects. And you can also paste through here. Um, you can export these transects back to HECRAS if you wanted to under Exchange. So Exchange will go export HECRAS or import HECRAS. Output data that you get from the um, for the transects are at each time step the flow, the flow class, the depth, the uh, top width, seepage rate if you're doing seepage, uh, the type obviously, and um, the inverts. The way the way the, um, the the way the transects work is that they're basically flush with the bottom of the of the nodes. So whatever elevation the node is at is the invert elevation of the transect. If a transect becomes full, um, the, the excess flow is stored at the upstream node. And optionally, you can have that connected to a 2D uh, mesh if you're using InfoSwim 2D, or a storage node, or a ponding area if you're using ponding area. If we had a ponding area here, it would then pond at, at the, um, on the, on the, on the uh, ponded area. So that is something about transects inside of InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim. The same thing applies to Swim 5. This has been Bob Dickinson of InnoVice, and I hope you enjoyed this um, video. Thank you.